something you don't get to see on a, on a normal drive site. Internationally, we're self-performing all the concrete and batching all the concrete. That's an entire batch plant, so they'll make for the cement, the aggregate, and the sand in there to make the concrete. It was a pivot point when we realized that self-perform was the answer. I think we won a Vujo. We, we did win a Vujo. And then after, I think a year or so after that, um, we won a couple more and a couple more. And, but we worked out the formula, I think. Um, Tunisia was the testing group. Or at least the inflection point. Yeah, I, I really think We so. decided, and that's why Chuck is such a big believer in self-performing now. And that's oh, really yeah. what differentiates us than, than everybody else. And that's the key to this company, is they self-perform. There's no challenge they can't. Well, we can't do that. We've got to hire a professional to do it. You know, from Chuck Bone to everybody from the last person that works here. They had that can-do attitude. They had that self-perform attitude. Having accountability is one of the key things that people are actually looking for. And we make people accountable for what they're doing by giving them the freedom to do what it is they need to do to succeed in their job. And the company gives its employees the authority and the responsibility to do that. I remember going into Togo we went in to do the site visit and we walked out onto the site, which was a, a greenfield site. There was grass four feet high, there was two foot bush rats running all over the place. And it was an extremely unsophisticated area and the workforce showed up with shorts on and sandals. You know, they didn't know what a hammer was. They didn't know what a screwdriver was. They had absolutely zero idea with construction methodology in the United States. I think during that period from 2004 to 2006, we did a lot of on-site training. Uh, we had a lot of great people, we still do, that had been with us and that knew our systems, our ethics, our values. We just, together with those folks, built the process throughout those two or three years. So we decided, rather than go out and try to find some subcontractor in Togo or any of these other countries, we're gonna hire the, the labor ourselves. Finding those people that can work together as a team and basically be dropped in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing, they just drop us in to these places and we have to get our materials here and get it organized and get it done. It's a huge challenge, but uh, we always do it. The challenge working overseas is every day, every day there's challenges that you wouldn't dream would happen it constantly. Getting people in, housing your people, making sure they stay healthy and safe and providing transportation for them, make sure the vehicles are running, make sure they're house has power and make sure people have security at their places. You have to deal with multiple situations when it comes to people, um, understand their backgrounds, where they come from, you know, their culture. Culture is a big deal. The biggest challenge has been keeping people happy and content so that they come to work happy and contented employees. And that's been tough sometimes too. Every, everybody needs something different. It's been difficult to juggle that.